Hey guys, it's Scarlett with Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint our mermaid paint kit. This is a paint by line product, and every kit includes the paint by line cutout, a sheet detailing exactly what to do, um, the paint, a pack of assorted brushes, and a Sharpie brush stroke marker. I've gone in first with my largest paintbrush um, available in the pack and a chocolate brown color, and I have painted her hair. Of course, you could switch this uh, to the yellow if you want to paint her hair blonde. And um, for her face, I'm going to go in with the color khaki and paint it. But of course, you could also swap that up with the chocolate brown color if you wanted to. Next, I'm going in with that same large paintbrush. I just dipped it in some water and wiped it off with a paper towel to use again. And I'm going to paint her body in the khaki color. I'm going in now with my light green paint and just painting her tail. And again, I'm using that same large paintbrush for this. Um, I just rinsed it off with some water and a paper towel and just used it again. Of course, you can use whatever brushes you feel comfortable with whenever doing this outlining. I just like to use this larger brush because um, it goes a little further and makes the painting process a little bit quicker. Next, I'm going to go in with my lavender paint and I'm going to paint... Um, her seashells and also her flower. And of course, if you feel like you need to go back in and do a second coat on this cutout, you totally can. I want you to use your own discretion with that because it'll really be based on, um, you know, just how thick of a coat you put the first time. After this, I'm going to allow everything plenty of time to dry before I go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker. Um, it's really important that you let everything dry plenty of time um, or end up you'll end up messing up your marker. And also, markers just don't write really well on wet paint, so make sure you give it plenty of time. And now I'm just going in with that Sharpie marker. And um, this is included in the kit. And it's so easy because with this marker, you have a lot of control. You can kind of just follow the lines that are etched into the cutout for you and not have to worry about that. After this, I'm going to go in with a number four round brush that is provided in your kit and a little bit of white paint. And I'm just going to highlight here and there. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable with this step, I would advise you just to skip it. But um, I like to do it just to brighten everything up. And whenever I do this, I always follow the curves of the cutout and just highlight it here and there as I see fit. And then after that, I'm done. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and make sure to have a great day.